Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you the shrubbery garden from here at Brodie Castle. Uh, the shrubbery garden is set out on the east side of the castle. Um, middle of the shrubbery lawn we have an ancient yew tree. Um, don't know the exact age, but uh, as you can see, very large. Taller than the uh, single story part of the castle, the east wing. Over there we have our castle border, um, recently extended. Uh, as you can see in the far, we have this year made natural stakes out of some birch that needed to be thinned out. So again, not just letting, uh, if we use cut something down, we try and reuse it or recycle throughout the estate. Um, so there will be sweet peas climbing up there and the dahlias are set out behind. Um, you can also see pictures of that on our Brody uh, Facebook page. So I'll span back around, you can see the castle. The bottom big bay window there, that's the library. Um, but yeah, that's the castle. And down just to the left of the castle is the long west avenue leading to the pond. So like I said, we're coming out to the east. Um, again, in the lawn we have a few birch trees, a couple of pine trees, a few different yew trees and a big yellow azaleas. Um, lovely specimen here is a rowan, uh, white, white flowers just coming in, lovely red berries in the, in the autumn, great for the birds. So as I just walk through, we'll walk down to the sundial um, and I'll uh, let you enjoy some of the rare specimens that we have. As you can see now, most of the uh, bluebells have gone over in the, in the meadow grass. We'll let the grass come up with uh, various things flowering and then we'll cut it down around mid, mid to end August. Um, that's the best time to cut your meadows down. So as you can see, there's lots of trees in the shrubbery. Um, there's a lot of, not too dense, um, lots of birch, lots of beech, um, aspen. And then we've got the understory of our aces, our rhododendrons, a few roses, um, shorter trees, tall trees. We've got beech at the back. Um, here's our sundial. Again, part one part of our listed part of the castle. So off the sundial we have four main avenues, one there with the Acer, that's looking north, looking to the east, to the south, and then to the west, which leads back to the castle. Obviously you can't smell just now, but the shrubbery is in full full flower just now with the rhododendrons out. And the smell is just amazing, especially on a hot sunny day like today. Uh, I was cutting the grass out on the shrubbery lawn earlier and all you could smell was just, you know, scent was amazing. Um, worth pointing out obviously we're still closed at the moment um, this is our davidii tree that's just finished it's uh, flowering that's uh, the white han hanky chief tree for anyone that doesn't know latin that's uh, the hanky chief tree as we're closed just now that's uh, the reason for this video um, but it is great you know it's great for the gardens to rest but at the same time we are looking really forward looking to hear everyone coming back but it's also the wildlife. Um, when I go quiet, you'll probably hear the amount of birds chirping away. Um, I know we've got lots of young fledglings around just now, but it's absolutely beautiful. The nicest part with the shrubbery is you walk around the grass paths. Every path, there's a, there's a new spot that opens up that you can't see from where you've just been and you find something else in flower or another tree or another maple. Um, so there's always something new 
And every time, you, you could walk through here once a week, if not more often, and you'll find something more and uh, more and more to find. It, you know, there's almost picture spots at every corner you turn. So we're saying this area is uh, a bit brighter. We took, there's a lot of beech trees here and very dark. So we removed three, uh, two were rotten at the base and another one was a very poor shape. So we've re retained it, um, which just opens it up. It gives us our liquid amber here. That one just there. And that one's, uh, just lets it give it a bit more shape because as you can see, we've got lots of branches on the front, but if I come back around, there's uh, no branches on the back. So they'll, they'll start growing out, back out to the east and uh, we'll get a better shape from them. Lots of hollies, very old hollies in the garden. I'm currently under one of the variegated hollies. Uh, we had a little bit of problem with this one last year again. It's trying to revert, so we just cut out the, uh, the, the reverting part of the holly. Um, as I come back around, I'll show you. It's almost like a sun splash. Again, I don't know the exact variety. I'd have to look in the, da in the data book. But you can see the, the light flash of the yellow tips, mainly green on the leaves. Stunning Acer just there in the dark. There's the former yew trees, as I said earlier, the pine and the yellow azaleas. Behind that is Cathedral Walk. Again, these lime trees were replaced due to honey fungus, uh, but it's part of the designed landscape, so we had to put the lime trees back in. Um, and they go all the way down to the Bothy. The Bothy is currently under repair, but uh, we hope to repair it soon. I'll finish off with one of my favorite trees. Um, not the nicest to work with, really sharp uh, leaves or petals. Um, but this is the monkey puzzle tree. Actually a huge specimen. Um, yeah, really, really nice frame. And when you're actually in the castle, it you look out onto the monkey puzzle tree. Um, that's where you're drawn to at the main drawing room. Um, but that's the shrubbery garden. And I hope you enjoyed it and uh, 